Y'all, we're finally making that chocolate egg pudding. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're finally testing that viral chocolate pudding recipe that everybody's been talking about and I'm late to the game on. Stay tuned. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Wow, hold on. All right, guys, forgive the use of the clickbait word viral in the title uh, because everybody's already made this, I'm sure. But whether you call it egg pudding, protein pudding, boiled egg pudding, protein sparing, modified fasting pudding, whatever you want to call it, a lot of people say this is one of their favorite low carb keto recipes and that they're, even their kids rave about how good this chocolate pudding is. Um, and if you saw my last few videos, we just made mashed potatoes out of, out of eggs and egg whites. So I'm curious to see how this goes down. So I boiled 20 eggs already because we're gonna do two different variations. If you will go to mariamindbodyhealth.com and search for, it's the boiled egg pudding, uh, and it's also uh, protein pudding, hard boiled egg pudding on her website. I actually have her protein sparing modified fasting book, uh, but this recipe is on her website. I'll leave a link here on the screen and in the video description below. We're gonna make her original chocolate pudding and we're gonna make one that I'm sort of making up just to see if we can change some of the flavors and do something besides chocolate. But um, again, and forgive the use of the word viral. I'm going to get to um, peeling these eggs, so I'll see you in quite a while. I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch. See you in a minute. Three hours later. <sighs> Great. Easter's ghost. That was tedious. All right. I've got 22 of these peeled. I only need 20 of them because I knew some of them were going to turn out like that. That's so tedious. Half of them turn out beautifully. The other half make you want to run around the yard naked and yell at the dog. Okay. So let's get started on this. Again, it's MariaMindBodyHealth.com uh, and this is her protein pudding. It starts with 10 boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, which I have here. And, um, uh, you know me and how skeptical I am of things tasting out eggs, and this whole house smells like Easter egg poots, so I'm very concerned about the egginess of this, but the comments don't lie, I don't think. So we need 10 of these. So there's one, two, three, four, nine, ten. Okay. And I would say to make sure that you have rinsed them off because there's nothing that is going to ruin the illusion that this is not eggs by running into an egg uh, shell. I can assure you that. To this, we're gonna add in a can of coconut milk, unsweetened, just full fat coconut milk. She says a 14 ounce can. I have two different brands here. Both of them are 13 and a half ounces. I couldn't find a 14 ounce can of coconut milk in any store I went to. So we'll just see where that takes us. Maybe it'll make it just a little bit thicker, who knows. Okay, to this, we're gonna add in our sweetener of choice. Uh, I'll let you look at the amounts. Again, this isn't my recipe. I'm, I didn't create this. I'm just here to test it. That's why the link is down below. Go check out uh, Maria's website. So this is um, a sweetener. I'm gonna use allulose as my sweetener of choice. I'm gonna add in some vanilla extract. We're gonna add in the cocoa powder, just unsweetened cocoa powder. Uh, lastly is a little bit of cinnamon and a tiny little bit of salt, and it's not unusual to add cinnamon into chocolatey things to actually increase the chocolate flavor. So uh, now it says blend very, very, very well. She, of course, uses her beloved Vitamix. I do not have one, I have a Ninja, so we're gonna test that out. But I do know that in the comments, multiple people have said, I didn't blend it enough the first time and it didn't convince me that it was pudding. The second time I blended it much longer than I needed to. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch much of it. And I am gonna knock the sides down a little bit every so often with a spoon. So I'll uh, speed this up, see you in just a bit. Okay, so this has finished blending, and I'm gonna tell you now, it smells powerfully, powerfully of boiled eggs in here. <laughs> so I'm holding my thoughts on this because right now this smells just like 
a real bad Easter Sunday gone wrong. Um, but the number of people who have said, my teenage son loves this. It's better than regular pudding to him. I'm going to give it a go. I did notice that you did need to knock it down. Some of the little egg slivers get stuck to the side of the plastic or glass container. So I'm going to put this in. Apparently, the, the secret to this is it has to be cold. It has to be really cold from the refrigerator. Uh, and Maria herself specifically says overnight. It has to be at least overnight. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and taste this. It's in the afternoon now. And all of this fit in one. This makes five servings. I can see how it's going to thicken up. It does have a little bit of white. I don't know if you can see specks. And I think because I boiled these eggs and then shocked them in a um, ice water bath after I boiled them. So they're cold. And I think it solidified the coconut fat in the coconut cream and the, the coconut milk. That's all I can think about that would make those polka dots there. But um, we're not going to hold that against us just yet. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and then tidy up and we'll come, come back and make a different flavor, uh, a second round of this. And then uh, this is going to be a short video because ain't a whole lot to it. See you in just a bit. All right, so our chocolate pudding is in the fridge, and I'm going to give it the full eight hours, the benefit of the doubt, because like I said, it was powerfully strong of boiled eggs. But I'm also standing underneath the bowl of 12 more of them, of which I need 10 for this other recipe, which is my version of this. And we're actually going to do a strawberry pudding. And the reason why is because I had some strawberry protein powder on hand that was so strawberry. I almost couldn't use it, and this seems like a great use for that. But before we begin, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, me. <laughs> That's right, guys. Thanks to you. Um, we recently passed 300,000 subscribers on this channel, over 220,000 uh, followers over on Facebook, and 23,000 followers on Instagram. So thank you so very much. It's truly an honor for me. I've, like I've said many times, I've, I've been doing this for six years on YouTube, and it's a dream job. And thanks to you, I'm able to fulfill that dream and drop a few pounds along the way. If you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I'm going to ask you to do that now. If you don't, if you don't mind, please, on Facebook and Instagram, I'm just highfalutin low carb. You'll find me there. I talk a little more frequently and a little more freely there, uh, just about current events and news and what's going on in the day, as well as recipes like today's. And also, I'm going to ask you to please hit the like button below and leave a comment. Um, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that this is a video that other people may want to see. So please leave a comment, even if it's just like, hey, Wes, um, don't yell at the dogs because your eggs didn't shell, or whatever you want to say down there. Just let me know. Be sure you hit the um, subscribe button and the bell button so you'll know just as soon as I release a video, the notification bell. So, all right, enough of that blather. Let's get started on our second recipe. As you know, this one's going to go fast. I need 10 boiled eggs, of which I have a few here. So two, four, 10. And I got two left over for good measure. All right, so to this, I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk. This is the one constant in both recipes. I do believe some people have said they have used heavy cream thinned out uh, with almond milk to make it a little thinner, but that when you do that, uh, the pudding more comes out more like a shake, like a protein shake as opposed to a pudding, a, a chocolate pudding. I'm also going to add the vanilla into this because vanilla sounds like it'd go pretty good with strawberry. Again, this is uh, the strawberry whey protein powder. So I'm going to use that here. I'll leave a link below if you're curious about it. Again, I don't usually use it as supplementation. I use it for recipes. And then lastly, the same sweetener. I've used a little bit less than she calls for. This is allulose. I've used a little bit less than she called for because the whey protein powder has some stevia and some other natural sweeteners in it. So back the lid goes on, run this around for a, quite a while. That last one I did for about two and a half to three minutes, which is a long time actually in a blender. So I'm going to do that, knock it down as needed, and I'll see you back here in just a few seconds. So this one is done, and whew, I got to say it smells just... <laughs> Just as eggy-licious as the other one, so holding my holding my thoughts, okay, until we taste. Um, and then, again, this makes five servings. 
and I don't have another pan the size of the one that I just used earlier, so we're going to just put it into two, probably. Got a little bit left over. And it says put these in an airtight container, probably because it's going to make your whole refrigerator smell like toots, but um, we'll find out. I'll report back in the morning. So, all right, guys. Um, in the interest of, of being as genuine as I can with my initial review, I'm not going to taste this um, until in the morning. Get out of the way. Uh, I got some cleaning up to do, clearly. These are going in the fridge, and I will see you back here bright and early in the morning, um, uh, which will just be right now in five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, we're back. It's the next morning. It's been a long wait for me, but it's only been a few seconds for you. And here we have our two uh, protein puddings. And um, the house still kind of smells a little bit eggy. Uh, and I haven't even opened these yet because I'm fully expecting a blast of eggy-liciousness. So um, let's just open them up and see what it is. Here's our first one. This is the chocolate one. Again, this is by Maria Mind Body Health. And I'm very curious how this smells like chocolate. I cannot detect any egg flavor whatsoever. Look at the consistency. It's got a nice jiggle to it. I do still see some of the white specks, which again, I think is some of the coconut fat from the coconut milk. Y'all, it smells like cinnamon and chocolate. Really, really does. I can't kind of shocked at that. All right, let's do the one that I just sort of made up that has no chocolate, but has that strawberry protein powder in it. Eggy. There's some egg there. Yeah. Not much. Doesn't smell a whole lot like strawberries. It may have needed some strawberry extract. And I'm just trying this because some of the commenters said, uh, you know, you should try this with other extracts. And I had some, so I just wanted to compare. That has a slight egg scent. This not at all. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Are we going to have to eat these like Verhoeven Krispies? You just have to know how to eat them. You hold your nose with one hand and you pop a crispy in your mouth with the other. That is the best thing I have ever tasted. <laughs> I hope not. All right. Okay. Okay, this is the strawberry one. I guess you could have probably used an extract. Like I said, it seems thicker, oddly. Let's talk about nutrition before we even taste these. Um, the original egg pudding, this is protein pudding by Maria, uh, mindbodyhealth.com. This is the hard boiled egg pudding. It makes five servings. If you make one serving and eat one serving, it's 268 calories, 22 grams of fat, you've got 14 grams of protein, you've got four total carbs, one gram of fiber, so that's three net carbs. And again, this is not a serving size. I just put some in a bowl to try for this. This will make five servings. Um, so that's, there's 10 eggs, so that's two eggs each. All right, so um, do I have to eat these like Rosie, Turper, Hooven, Krispies? Let's see. Really kind of shocked there's no scent. Doesn't taste like eggs at all. It could. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I am not mad at that at all. Um, it probably, I can see where the Vitamix may get it a little thinner. You may want to try it in a food processor. There is not much texture. I did also, the allulose that I used is granulated. I may be detecting a little bit of that. Uh, I'd eat that all day. Hold on. That tastes like a little bit of a grainy pudding. I'm not mad at that at all. Y'all, that's pretty dang good. And truthfully, this is pretty easy too. And I will say that some people um, in the comments talked about instead of having to boil and peel all the eggs, if you have an instant pot, to put it in a in the instant pot, cook your eggs, crack them, cook them in the instant pot on the steamer setting, and then just chop up what uh, the uh, the cooked eggs, and then blend from there, and you get the same thing without the work of the shell. So if you truly did that, this is easy. That is good. I'm gonna finish that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, did I mess this up by trying to make a different version of it? And would an, a liquid extract have been better? Let's see. Does have a kind of a little bit of a toot smell. 
Mm. That is quite strawberry. There's, it's actually sweeter than the other one because that protein powder was so sweet. It's the Equip. It's not a sponsored or anything. I think the brand is Equip. It was actually too sweet for me to eat. It works great in this. There's a slight egg odor, but not. Wow. Hold on. Y'all, I'm kind of shocked. This doesn't taste like eggs. The chocolate one especially does not. I do think the cinnamon really is the key to helping eliminate some of that egg smell because when you first open it, I got a blast of chocolate cinnamon, not of egg. So, um, and it, it, it sits heavy. It does because it is a lot of protein and a lot of calories, but I am down with that. And I can see this being a regular staple in the fridge. I think it keeps, she said, four or five days in the fridge. I can easily see this becoming a quick and easy dessert. So, <laughs> Chocolate protein pudding, pro, hard boiled egg pudding, PSMF, protein sparing modifier, whatever you want to call it. Can it be done? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty doggone good. So please, guys, be, be sure to go to mariamindbodyhealth.com. The link is here and in the video description below. Guys, I say it every time. These videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking into the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I truly appreciate you guys coming along for the journey. Uh, I'm going to ask you again to go check me out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's just highfalutin low carb there. You'll see me, you'll see my face there. Join me there. The conversation's always going over there. Also, I just wanna again point out my rock stars, um, my Patreon members. You're gonna see their names start to scroll over here. If you don't know what Patreon is, think of it as the tip jar for the internet. It lets people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube. You can give a dollar or two a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks as it were. And you'll know just as soon as I release new videos as well because I post there. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. And remember, today is a good day for a good day.